D&D, and you all are certainly tremendous examples of running some really dynamic companies. Um, pe treating people with dignity, integrity, um, and respect, and you know, just always doing the right thing, no matter what market you're in. You have to be true to yourself. You have to be um, passionate about what you do. Just learning what you did, what products were out there. Uh, learning how you treated people. I would say you need to look at something else. What else can you make? What else can you do? What, what else can you brand that's, that there is a demand for today? I have learned that large companies, it's important to, to them that they to know that they are doing business with a minority or woman-owned firm um, because it's good business. So And so look for programs uh, that have, companies that have diversity programs, uh, women uh, looking for women-owned businesses. have a really strong intuition when you strengthen it. And it's literally that strategic compass that's going to help you navigate the ups and downs of entrepreneurship. Yeah, definitely got to, like, putting those boundaries in and making it clear is like you're teaching your children so much, you know, like you don't have to compromise your happiness, you know. There are a lot of risks that you can account for um, and make sure that you're invested appropriately. Uh, and then there are some that you really can't get rid of. Things. Oh, spend all the time on the pitch. Spend all the time on your materials. Uh, uh. If you aren't talking to the right person, if you if you are spending too much time not speaking to somebody with the money, invite people to fifteen minute meetings. I use that strategy all the time. No one ever turns me down for a fifteen minute meeting. The entrepreneurial operating system um, helps. Um, business owners gain traction in their business through keep putting the right people in the right seats. Like trade publications, you know, the, the important understanding your audiences are reading this if they are, um, I mean, yeah, this is only the type of clients you're going The important thing is you're actually taking the time and making the time investment in terms of making sure your business is cyber ready and ready to do business in the supply chain.